Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Someone is a hot mess. They're sad. They're very emotional. Okay, they want to come in and confess. Um, this is somebody who feels like they're going to pop. Okay, um, you know, it's kind of like when you take this um, this soda and you shake it up, right? And it just explodes. That's how this person is feeling. They can't take the sadness anymore. I feel of being away from you. Yeah, and I the higher font is on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person is like learning a lesson. Yeah, they learned a lesson. They were put in a third party situation. This person is doing a whole lot of drinking right now over that. So they're kind of crying in their, you know, there's a tear in my beer because I'm crying for you, dear. You've been on my lonesome mind. I kind of get the sense that this person is just wallowing in self-pity right now, okay? Basically, they're feeling sorry for themselves because they got hurt the same way they hurt you. I feel like that's exactly what happened here. You know, this is one of those what goes around comes back comes around kind of situation okay and they're thinking about you they're thinking about the one who was always there for them okay the one who um, had unconditional love the one that they feel they could always talk to confide in when things went wrong in this person's life I feel like you were always the one who was there for them and that's now they want to come towards you they're feeling really sorry for themselves right now you know, but I feel like this person is getting their karma, okay? Yeah, third-party situations, but um, I feel like they put you in a third party. They were entertaining other people or someone else behind the scenes, and that other person that they were with has now found someone else, has cheated on them, put them in a third party, okay? And you're the loving one here. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. You could be having a burger for lunch. You could be having a BLT for lunch. That sounds actually really good. Um, but yeah, you're, you've always been very loving and open to this person. Okay. You, um, you were always there to nurture them and give them really good advice or um, you know, you, you soothe them somehow, like you soothe their soul. And right now in this time of their life, they feel absolutely broken and they can only, you're the only one that they can think of to come towards, but this person has fallen from grace. Okay. They allowed someone else to tempt them away from you. Okay. And, um, they chose a snake. I mean, that's what this is. And it'll be a long road to heal this. I feel like they've done a lot to you. And it's been a long time since this person has spoken to you um, since they betrayed you. Okay, so you've been in no communication for a long time. And it's going to take maybe double that amount of time to heal this with you. This isn't something that can be healed at the snap of a finger. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah. Um... I feel like this person is, they, they were tempted. They didn't make anything right with you. And I feel like it was a situation that was supposed to end a long time ago. And now they want to come to you, the sweet, holy one, high priestess energy, okay? Um, you could be a cancer. You know, this is heavy cancer here. Your person could be a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, heavy on Pisces. I feel like now this person wants to come in and apologize to you, but they're sitting here crying in their beer, right? They're crying in their drink, feeling sorry for themselves, thinking that they lost an opportunity with you, which they did. They know they missed out. Okay, yeah, they're very emotional. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person is, um, they're doing a lot of crying, okay? A lot of crying. 
they they feel sorry for themselves. Yeah, but I feel like this person treated you like a dog. Like um, they were a dog to you. You know, they were a dog. They were a player. Okay? And spirit is reminding them of this. Okay, but wait a minute. Why are you feeling sorry for yourself when you did the same thing to the collective and didn't think twice about it? You know? Spirit's reminding them of this. This person could be, I mean, they're getting a lot of signs, synchronicities, messages everywhere. It's all around them. Okay? I feel like this person could have, you know, they played you. They, they may have come into your life quickly. Um, they were pro most likely very passionate or they were, you know, they could have cheated on you. You know, um, they were, they were somewhat of a player and spirit is reminding them of that. Isn't this what you did to the collective? Yeah. You know, this person could have even gotten a couple of STDs. Okay. Um, yeah. And that would be a deal breaker. Okay, I feel like they may even find out they have an STD because, you know, whoever they chose over you has been cheating on them. And whoever they chose over you, whoever they've been cheating with has an STD, they're good. that person is going to give it to your person. So I feel like they've got some kind of STD here, okay? And so Spirit is saying no, you know, they... they this person wants to come back around and talk to you. I feel like they want to tell you, you know, um, all the things that they're going through collective so that you go to them and, and coddle them and nurture them. Yeah, no, they were with the Queen of Wands energy. Okay, that Queen of Wands chased after the next best thing. Okay. And that may be what this person did to you. Yeah, and this queen, of, uh, this queen of Wands may even find out she could be pregnant, okay? With someone else's baby, right? That situation is over. So the masculine and the karmic has, have broken up. She's off with someone else. She's just, I feel like she decided to break it off with them. Because she's found someone new. And I feel like she's having a new beginning. She's pregnant. I feel like this karmic is pregnant. But she also may have an STD. Okay? And it's, it's breaking this masculine's heart. But spirit is telling them that's exactly what they did to you. And I feel like you're turning a cold shoulder on this person. You, you, I don't think you feel the same way about them that you used to. This person's put you through too much. The energy has grown stagnant and cold, okay? Um, and I feel like you're not going to be nurturing them like they expect. Okay, you're not. They're expecting you to um, welcome them with open arms and coo them, okay? You're not doing that. So I feel like they're not expecting you to, to um, say, you know, something like, you're going to say something to the effect like, this is not my problem. You know what I mean? This is not my problem. Or you're going to say, you could even very well say, what goes around comes back around. You know? And I'm hearing that song now, you know. Um, oh, who's the guy who sings it? I can't remember his name. Drop a comment. What goes around comes back around. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this person isn't expecting this reaction out of you. They're going to feel like you're being really cold-hearted to them. Okay? But he, the fact of the matter is, is you don't want this person back. If, if you don't know who they've been with or what they have, I feel like you see this person as a little page. You see them, this is like a page coming to an empress, okay? Coming towards a high priestess. That's what this is. And I feel like you're using your intuition on this person. And, um, you know, you don't know who they've been with. You know, I feel like they're going to 
possibly come forward, you know, with an apology. Um, but yeah, you don't trust this person anymore. You could be eating chicken strips and iced tea for lunch today. Maybe some guacamole. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're going to give them the truth. This is you speaking your truth and dropping the mic. That's what this is. Speaking the truth and dropping your dropping the mic. This is you saying, I can't trust you. I don't know who you've been with. You were a player to me. I don't know who else you've been with. Okay? And you're gonna you're gonna be saying no thank you. You're gonna be saying goodbye to this person. Okay. This is you cutting this person out. But you're being you're just being very honest and logical about this, okay? You are not at all in their, in your emotions. See, in the past, you may have been very open to emotions and letting people in and being hospitable to everybody, right? And making sure everyone feels good and comfortable. If anybody need, needed healing, you, you would be the one that they would go to. And not anymore. You're thinking clearly, logically, and you're standing up for yourself here. You're going to be speaking the truth and dropping the mic. Okay? Some of you, someone may have a new, a new boo. <laughs> okay, this new cookie, this is, um, this is a new person, okay, coming into your life. And you've decided to move on with somebody new. Okay, that's what this is. Being on a roll, forward movement, okay, um, with somebody new, a new cookie, okay? Because this other person, they've had so many people, it, it, honestly, I feel like this person was a player. And they may not even remember everybody's names that they've been with. I don't know. But I feel like you don't want a player. I'm hearing, no, I don't want no scrub. Yeah, you don't want a player. You don't want somebody who's um, going to come in and treat you badly. You, you, you want everything that you deserve, and you're not going to settle for anything less, okay? Yep, yeah, and this person chose someone else. They chose someone else over you, and it took them, it could have taken them up to like, I, anywhere from like maybe four to five years. Uh, it, I feel like it's been a very long time um, since this person chose someone else over you and now they're coming back around. Mm -mm. No, this is why you're saying no. No, no, no. You're not an option. You're not a rebound. You're not here to nurse everyone, you know, and, and fix everything for everyone. You're not here to pamper everyone's booty. You're, you know what, you, um, you're a high value individual with a great loving heart, but that love needs to go to the right person, okay? I feel like you're being really choosy who you open your heart and your love to. And, you know, you're thinking very clearly for yourself, okay? I'm super proud of you right now because you, I feel like you've been very loving and kind to everyone and not everyone deserved it okay yeah and that's this means you've done the work on yourself this means that you've graduated the last cycle you've learned your lessons collective you can't give that beautiful love to everyone and you you know that this person is getting their karma and you can't get involved in it okay and you know they're getting what goes around comes back around. You know that. And you won't be involved. You've learned all your lessons. This could very well be a test for you. Like a, a final exam in the, um, to close out this last cycle. Okay? You know, passing this test of using your discernment and knowing when someone deserves that caring nature and when they deserve just to hear the truth and a goodbye. Yeah, you're going to be passing some kind of test here. This is like graduating into a new cycle. 
okay, the universe is watching all of this, um, and you decide that you deserve better. You choose yourself. You choose yourself and you speak your truth, right? Clearly and unemotionally. You know, so, I mean, I feel like you, you pass some kind of test here. And because of that, spirit gives you, they send you in the right person for you. Okay, this is going to be the one for you, okay? You could be eating pizza for lunch, fries, chicken strips and fries, okay? Um, I don't remember what this stuff is called. <laughs> some kind of health food yeah but you have someone coming into it like just like that it's gonna be it's gonna be that quick you speak your truth to this person and like that same week or something you meet this new person or you get like in a in in a true commitment um, or a bond with somebody new okay for real you could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius yeah, it's a two. It's a two of cups, and this is gonna be. It's this is like two peas in a pod, right? It's two scoops in a cup. Okay, <laughs> I feel like this is your soulmate connection. Once you meet this new person, um, you're gonna kind of be joined at the hip, right? You're gonna want to be together a lot, right? Just kind of take it slow, cause I see it moving really fast. This is like a racetrack to me. This could possibly also be someone from, um, from like another, like another country, somebody who's traveling. And I am actually seeing two paths crossing right here. Okay, so this is definitely someone new and it's coming in fast or this relationship is going to take off really fast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yep, you just, you speak the truth, and I feel like you deny this other person, okay? Um, knowing that they're not for you anymore, knowing that they're not vibing at your level, knowing that they're kind of like rebounding to you, knowing they just want your beautiful energy, and knowing that um, they may, you know, they may not have changed. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're done. You deserve better. Um, yes, definitely. I feel like, and this elevates you somehow. This is light worker energy. But I'm really feeling um, very light. Like a, I'm feeling like this is going to elevate you, upgrade you. Like spirit puts you on a whole new level because you pass this test and choose yourself and know your value, and know what you deserve, okay? As long as the universe knows you've learned that lesson, that's, I feel like that's the ultimate test, right, in this last cycle, to close out this last cycle, and you pass. You pass, and you are elevated, upgraded. You could be an Aquarius. Oh, I love this for you, you guys. Whoo, it's giving me the chills. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's what I'm getting for this. Um, good job. It, I mean, you, you pass a test, you elevate, and you get new love here. And this past person, they're left behind. They need to do their work. They need to learn this lesson. Okay. Let's get your fortune. Let's reach your fortune. <laughs> if I can get it open. Holy cow. All right. This one is weird. Look at how it's bent. <gasps> no way. Oh, you have two fortunes in one cookie. Okay. <laughs> oh, and they're both different. Okay, get ready, right? Sit down and grab something to take notes with because you'll have two sets of lucky numbers as well. Okay. This is truly important. This has never happened before in a lunchtime reading. Your dreams will bring you into a profitable profitable venture. Um, so I feel like you're manifesting. I feel like it's, um, you're going to be making more money in the future. Okay. So maybe you're trying to manifest a new job. 
you're trying to manifest maybe your business doing well. I feel like um, you're headed towards abundance. Like this feels like a ten of pentacles to me. Okay. Do not dwell on differences with a loved one. Try to compromise. Okay, so something about this new person coming in, there's going to be a difference about them. Like I said, they may even be traveling like from a different country or there is going to be something different about them. And I feel like, um, I feel like, I don't know, it could be even like some, something like a language barrier or something like that. I feel like just, just be patient, right? And um, and try to compromise, right? There's going to be differences, okay? This, this is about love and money, okay? Love and money and success. All right, so the lucky numbers, right? Let's get this one first. Your lucky numbers are 15, 24, 33, 38, 45, 47, okay? That chunk of numbers, it, it could have a different meaning. Add them up and break them down numerology style. You'll end up with one number. Google that number um, and find the meaning of it. And that will help you um, progress further. That will help you as you move forward. It'll give you something that you need to know about yourself. Okay. But the second set of numbers is 3, 15, 27, 29, 36, and 40, okay? Um, and I feel like the, both of these end in a divine number. Both of them do. This ends in a 4, and this ends in an 11. So I feel like there's endings and there's new beginnings here, okay? I feel like you're being divinely led. I feel, very much feel like you're on the right track with this 3. There's a lot of 3s in this. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, look up these numbers numerology style and find out the meanings, you guys. Wow, that's never happened before. You've got some major blessings coming in. You've got money and love coming into your life, okay? This is to kick off your new cycle. And just know you're passing a test here. You're going to be speaking your truth, dropping the mic, and passing like a, like the final exam to the last cycle, okay? Oh, collective. 